judges, and, and you don't have to play, and you don't have a stake in a team, but I need you to come out and help keep score. And, and I'll explain to you why I need that. Bo, you want to come out? Come on out. Yeah, thank you, Brian. Okay. Oh. Okay, what's the team name? The barricades. Okay. Okay. And who's your who's your designated leader? Okay. Okay. Perfect. And the and the team name here? Sharks. Okay. It, this is what the eight and under kids would do. Okay. And who's your team leader? All right, what's your name? Eric. Okay. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to demonstrate these one time. And, and there, it starts very simply, but it has to be a team-based activity. So if they don't work together as a team, it doesn't work. So the first thing we're going to do, ball for you guys, ball for you guys. Get in a circle. Each of you get in a circle. Close proximity. Close proximity. Get in a circle. Come on in. And what you're going to do, not so close. And we'll demonstrate it so you guys can look over here. Is we're just going to bounce the ball up. And you guys have to keep the ball going without hitting it two times in a row. So nobody can hit it twice in a row but we got to keep it going. So here we go, I'll start it, go. No bounces, keep it going. This is called, this is called tennis hacky sack. You know, the little hacky sack thing. Okay, works better if you keep it going up. Keep it going up, there we go. It's pretty simple. Pretty simple, we ought to be able to do this, right? And, and uh, so we're gonna start. So, so it's a team activity, so if you're not bouncing it up, and so if you're not bouncing it up, and your ball comes to you and you do this to someone, that's probably not good teamwork, is it? Okay, all right, so here's the go. Who's the judges? Bo? Bo is a judge. Bo, you know the rules? If, if it's consecutive, so if you drop it, you stay with the highest consecutive number, okay? And you start over, okay? Or somebody hits it twice or something like that, okay? So, you got the rules over here, Jackie? And you don't have to, you don't have to go in a circle, you just you can't hit it twice. Okay. Everyone stop. Now when I when I say stop the activity, any any count, count after that doesn't count, okay? Do you understand the rules, Brian? Consecutive hits, most consecutive hits in a row, once they drop it or make a mistake, it starts over. We go with the highest number. And we're gonna put you guys on the clock for two minutes. And we're going to get the score, okay? Team, team Barricade versus Team Sharks. Anybody see West Side Story? So, okay, knives and guns and all that stuff. Ready? Give me just a second. Everybody ready? Set. Go. You guys can cheer for him if you want to.
consecutive hits for two minutes, beginning now. Ground stroke, people can only hit ground strokes. 
And here's, let me stop real quick. Let me make a recommendation that if you're volleying back real deep, then it takes longer to go back and forth and so you're burning time. Maybe you're volleying softly so they're hitting everything inside the service line. Just a, just a suggestion if you want to create more points. In cooperative, cooperative. Everybody's got it? And this is, by the way, stop. Stop. This is forehand only. Forehand only. Volleyers can do whatever you need to do. Ground strokers is forehand only. Okay? Now, variation of this could be cross court. You can work cross court and work on that volley cross court for more realistic for doubles. But this will be a down the line drill. And there's really no out of bounds, you know, as far as the lines are concerned. That's that center line right there. Okay? Are we ready to start? Judges, are you ready? Ready? Go. Judges, if you see a backhand, they have to start over. Okay. 
Backhand or lead and cross court. We can compare your variation of it, okay? Backhand only and cross court. Y'all got that, right? Y'all got that. You all? Okay. Ready? It's important that you get the body consistently back. Doesn't matter. To where, to where it's easy for you're trying to make it easy for the volleyer, the volleyer's trying to make it easy for you. Copper to drill. Ready? Go.
Everyone stop. Everyone stop. The only thing I see in the last two drills is sometimes when a person hits the ball, the ground stroker, or in this case the bomb here, they hit for a moment they admire their shot. You know, they, and they get in the way of the next person. So you've got to hit and get out of the way, okay? Okay? And I don't, I'm not going to name any names about who might be admiring their shot. But, but, uh, okay, so it's volley to volley. Are we ready? Are we ready? And go. So now, it gets a little tougher, it gets a little tougher, we're going to try to serve at, at cones, and, and if you hit the cone, whether you hit it in the, on the fly or off the balance, it counts, okay? And what I need is maybe a couple of people from the audience to pick up a cone and replenish it if, if it gets knocked over. Kevin and MJ, or, or Kevin and uh, Jason, that'd be fine. So go ahead and practice your serves. The uh, sharks, sharks are over here. And you hit your serve. We're going to need a basket. 
make the basket, put it in the back there and away from people. Now remember, you got an orange ball, right? You got an orange ball. Would you guys, for this drill, let me ask you, for this drill, would you be more comfortable with a green ball or an orange ball? Because you're full court. Full court? Green? Okay, I'm green balls. Those are yellow. Yeah, okay. Leave those back there because if we run out of the if we run out of the green, we'll have to go to the orange. Okay. All right. So put those behind here, Jackie. Okay. So I would just have a ball in my hand. In your aim, you hit the, you come up to the service, come up to the, uh, the baseline, you hit your serve, you rotate out of the way as quickly as possible. You guys are obviously going to be at court, you guys are going to do support. And uh, judges, the judges, judges are looking for hits, okay? Uh, so let's practice a little bit, okay?
Five seconds. Did not count. Okay, sharks. I mean, sorry, barricade. Twenty-seven points for barricade. Yes, we got Twenty-seven points for barricade. And huh? no, no, that's just total. Cumulative. Doesn't have to be consecutive. Did you think consecutive or total? 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 Huh? The other, the other two? Okay, okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a, a redo, but one minute redo. Bo, you know where to go now? One minute. Not consecutive. Not consecutive. Total. Total serve and return points. Serve in the box. Return cross court is one point. We're doing one minute. Just because there was a little bit of confusion. No, you're staying where you were. Nobody said switch sides. Okay, are we ready? Go. Shark, 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 and barricade, barricade, barricade. 
Now, here's what happens in this drill that, that, that wastes time, is a guy will get up there and go through his pre-service ritual, you know, do all this junk, and then wind up and hit a serve, and it takes 30 seconds to do that, okay? Get up there, you guys are good players, get up there, hit your serve. You know, not a big lengthy wind up. That's that's what's just get up and they do this. The ball, boom, hit it. Don't worry about anything else. And then, then you're not wasting time and you're accumulating points. And go. Bolly be on the service line. Everybody get sharks? Good. 
Well done, Sharks. Well done. Put some balls. Barracuda. Started off in a big, deep hole, right? Big, deep hole. 339. So they got it. Congratulations, right? A little, little walking line of, of fist bumps or handshakes. Come on. All good sportsmanship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Come on. Good job. Good job. Okay. Thank you. Now, okay, everybody. Everybody can sit. Go ahead and sit. I like that. Everybody go sit. Sit down. <laughs> Everybody have a seat real quick. Have a seat real quick. So I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I, I experimented with this for the first time at uh, we run junior qualifying at, at, in Montiac on the tournament chairman. So I used this for the player party, and most of the kids I get are, are kids 12s and 14s, because the 16s and 18s make the player parties for little kids. So we ran this the first year. We had 48 kids on two courts. We had the parents uh, being the judges, and I was able to get some uh, some gift certificates and some tchotchkes from Wilson and so forth donated. Kids absolutely love it. It's really good for the kids of 12s when you start getting into the volley stuff, because suddenly they realize they don't know how to volley very well and they need to put that good technique. So I decided to take it a step further and make it as a, a Friday night mixer in our in our club for the adults. You know, they're drinking margaritas, they're doing this and that. We had we had uh, four teams and they got the names, a couple of quality names for some teams that I can't repeat. Uh, uh, kids do things like sharks and barricades, you know, and the adults get into some other stuff. But with the with the orange ball with the adults. The only issue I have with the adults in the orange ball is if you get to be a little bit older, that ball doesn't come to you and it bounces very low. We have hybrid courts, and so they even bounce lower. But we warned them ahead of time. We showed them how to play in close. And uh, we had some prizes for them as, as you know, first place team and second place team. And they absolutely loved it. Now they're asking us when we can do this again. And so this is what we did was we let them play round robin stuff first. And this was how we finished it. We did it for about 45 minutes. They loved it. So if, if this is something, I don't think that this is something that you need to have a handout for. I hope you don't. But if you do need, I have a little chart that's called Tennis Olympics. In fact, the original name is Anderson Olympics after Kirk Anderson. And if you want that, just shoot me an email, and I'll be happy to send you that chart, and you can put the work off of that. But uh, if there are not any other questions, and you guys know how you can make this more difficult for better players and easier for the lesser players, then I think we're done. Thank you very much.